Big boys, yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing good. So, uh, those of you that watch me on Twitch, guys, there will not be a stream today. I'm just gonna leave you guys with this upload, maybe one more after this. Alright, but we have some very nice investments for you guys. So, as you guys do know, tomorrow is the start of Headliners Team 2. Gonna take a look at some cards that I think will do really good. Before we get into it, make sure you guys do drop a like on the video and subscribe if you guys are new for daily market slash investment videos. And let's get right into it. Alright guys, so the first card that I do like a lot today is this team of the group stage and Kunku. So he's a right forward, of course. Uh, don't forget that Headliners Klaus is coming out as an SBC very, very soon. Directly links to Nkunku as a right forward. Obviously just a uh, soft French link, but still uh, minimum 160 in my opinion. He pops up a lot on PlayStation for under 142. That is the price we're going to be going for. For my Xbox guys, 125 is all uh, I would go for, honestly. Uh, maybe 126 even. Uh, for the PC guys, he's a bit too high, so Xbox, PS guys, go for it. Definitely like it a lot. I don't see him um, not rising, especially with the Headliners one going out of pack soon as well. Should have some good demand. All right, a while back, if you guys did invest in this the lane when he was first either out of packs or uh, obviously when he was in packs, you guys are in luck. He's already up to 100k. However, today there has been a Payet SBC that has been leaked, all right? Um, so that is going to cause the lane to fly, in my opinion, even more. Uh, yeah, at this point, I'm thinking he goes to like at least 120. So if you guys want him, all consoles are right. Five counter cuts just for tax money. Um, 94 pace, great card. League on, I think, is going to do really good anyways. But being French and whatnot, definitely see him going up even more. All right, guys, this headliner, Savannier, uh, five counter cuts. So 90k on PS, uh, I would say like 88k or so on Xbox. We do still like. He's going out of packs soon. Um, so obviously, I don't think he's as good as Genduzi, but just think about Genduzi's rise since he has been out of packs, French and whatnot, well-rounded. I do think uh, he will be easily. By tonight, he's, uh, Savani is probably going to already be over 100k. Uh, yeah, Genduzi's up to 270, which is nuts. Xbox guy's still viable, though, honestly, uh, 170. He's definitely going to go over 200k on uh, you, for you guys as well. Uh, don't be surprised if he kept pushing to it for 300 plus PC and uh, PS guys, honestly. But, all right, uh, right now though, I'm personally focusing more on Savani because I just think he definitely has room to rise, at least 10 if not 20k at worst. Um, go for it guys, 5k undercuts. All right, team of the week PK guys, I'll say 20k max, but under 20 if you guys can on all consoles is good. For comparisons, I'm going to pull up like a center back that's also 86 rated in Benucci. Of course, he's been out of packs for a while, so I think he must be like 20... Yeah, he's only like 22, 23k or so. So they're very similarly priced. The good thing about PK is, all right, uh, he's obviously in packs. You can He pops up a ton. Under 20k, don't think they'll get much lower. Um, yeah, any that pop up under 20k, honestly, just... If you don't buy it, someone's just going to buy it right away. So go for it, guys. Definitely see him rising well out of packs. Okay, Allison Drini has been uh, fluctuating the last couple of days. He's currently on the higher end at about 97k. Being a Frenchman, all right, keep in mind Klaus is coming out. There is a ton, a ton of Payet as well. A ton, a ton of French cards coming out soon. So, uh, yeah, I do think it will be pretty easy for people to link him, of course. Even use him on 8 cam at worst. Um, in my opinion, should be over 100k very soon. Xbox guy, 60k, still good. Market price with a Hunter is good as well. Uh, PS guys, at this point, I would say 94k max. And then uh, PC guys, 95k is what you guys are going to be going for. Should be over 100k, like I said. Um, yeah, don't see him dropping, only see him rising. All right, we showed you Diaz in yesterday's video when he was 55k. He is already up to 60, all right? But I will say this, guys, 3 to 4k undercuts, just like tax undercuts, all right? Even sometimes 2,000 coins, I would pick him up, honestly. Don't think he's done rising. Uh, once again, Porto's next four games seem pretty easy. So, uh, yeah, um... 3 to 4k undercuts is what I would aim for, you guys. Definitely a riser uh, once he's out of packs. I mean, he's rising right now anyways, right? So go for it, guys. Market price with a Hunter all consoles is also fine. All right, this, once again, this headliner, Sengar, he's down to 12k, guys. 10k all consoles as an 86 rated. He literally quick sells over that. All it takes is one uh, Eredivisie SBC slash good card to come out. Again, should be minimum 15, 16k, if not more. But uh, yeah, discard price, pick it up. If you don't want him, quick sell him. Go for it. All right, guys, same deal with Ramsdale. Uh, being English, Arsenal, uh, he's basically this guy right now. 10K all consoles. He quick sells for that. You cannot go wrong, guys. I would definitely highly recommend it. At least put one in the club. Forget about it. Not saying he's randomly going to fly, all right? This is one that we kind of store uh, next time if there's like a, maybe, a, I don't know, a second in form, Ben White or something, you know? He's definitely flying. So uh, at least pick one up, put it in the club. Forget about it. Should be good for the future. All right, guys, Kula Bali, I'm still a fan of, all right? He's still Bible, in my opinion. 
five to seven k undercuts all consoles is what you're going to be looking for so you know like 197 or so max 198 maybe on ps 190 or so on xbox and about one is again 197 or so on pc um great 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 card i would think screeny rss card once again when he went out of packs flew so gulabali beast of a card definitely see him rising a bit once he's out of packs I showed you guys Teze in yesterday's video. This video is probably the last time you guys will see him under 20k. All right, if you guys want 18k all consoles, he's a steady riser, one of the uh, cheap guys as well. So he used to be 14k. He's rising. Don't think he's done yet. Personally, 18k guys. Like I said, he'll probably be over 20k by tonight. Go for it. All right, Mr. Mike over here has rebounded a little bit um, from yesterday. So he, yesterday he was about 62, 63K, even 61K at one point. What we're going to do now, though, is aim for 5K undercuts, 63K max. I still think he has room to rise easily over 70. But if you guys get a couple thousand coins undercut, you should be good. 60K on Xbox, 65 on PC. French, like I said, tons of French players coming out in the next couple of days, all right? Um, I think the French goalies like him will do very, very well. Damn, it's crazy how much my guy Niakate has risen since he's been out of packs. It's nuts. He is a beast of a card, though. 137. I'm sorry, 134. Call me crazy, guys, but I do think if you guys get, like, five counter cuts, once again, being French, tons and tons of links. Direct link to uh, uh, Klaus as well coming out. Uh, coming out. So, uh, yes, I do like this card. <sighs> we'll see, all right? This one, guys, I'm going to say more higher risk just because he's already risen a lot. But I'm just going to make a prediction easily. Not easily. All right, but I'm going to make a prediction. 140, I'm calling it. Um, let's see what happens, guys. If you do want him, though, maybe Xbox and PS, 5 to 10K undercuts. Look at some bids as well. Should be pretty decent. All right, guys, so another card I want you guys to look at when Klaus SBC drops is Hakimi, all right? So right now, you guys can see the prices of both of the versions. Uh, obviously, Hakimi, I'm sorry, Klaus is in the same league, same position when he comes out. If Hakimi does take a dip, make sure you guys do pick one up, all right? Whatever the current price is when Klaus drops, look for like 5 to 10k undercuts once again. Do see him rebounding a bit, um, the inform and the ones to watch because he is PSG, high, high, high demand. But it's only natural that he goes down a bit when, uh, you know, some guy with also good stats in the same league, same position comes out. So keep an eye on him, guys, when he drops. If he does, pick some up. Okay, guys, little tip for you guys. Tomorrow, Headliners Vinny is coming out. All right, when that happens, please take a look at his 83 in form, his 85, and his Team of the Group Stage card. See how low they drop. If his Team of the Group Stage drops like 450 or something, please pick it up, all right? See how much they do drop. Check Conte, all right? Conte's first in form and Kunku special cards, Upa Meccano's recently. All the guys, whenever they get a better version, the other ones usually tank for like a good hour to two, and then they do start rebounding because people realize, wait, I can't afford the best version. So they buy it back and whatnot. So whenever Vinny drops, don't look at headliners Vinny, but look at his other versions, all right? Look at the prices right now. Remember it. When the new one comes out, see if it's any lower. If it is, I would pick some up, guys. Get some undercuts, all right? All right, guys, so same thing, sticking with the Vinny drop-in, all right? Uh, Hazards, Real Madrid as well, obviously, left wing. Same position, same team. Uh, yeah, if Vinny does cause Hazards to drop anything to, like, 210, 220, anything like that, guys, if he even drops, like, 20K, I would take a look, all right? Um, once again, they, he should rebound, but it is only natural that he does drop a little bit if Vinny comes out because same position, same team. People want to try out the new Vinny, of course, but uh, keep an eye out. Once again, if he drops, get some undercuts, should do really well. All right, guys, and the last card for today's video, all right, sticking with the La Liga left mid left wings, all right, there's a theme right now. Um, yeah, obviously, he's an Atletico Madrid, but Vinny coming out as well, guys, all right, I just see everyone trying to go for that Vinny, and then they'll realize, wait, we can't afford it. So what I'm trying to tell you guys to do is, yes, you guys can snipe Carrasco now, 5 cutts cuts um, before he goes out of packs. However, even when uh, Team 2 starts, take a look at Carrasco still, all right, just in case he does dip uh, any at all. If he does... Pick some up. I definitely like it. Um, five counter cuts, guys. Should do really, really well. Um, like I said, after Vinny drops, especially after he's out of packs. All right, guys. As usual, I lied. I lied. That was not the last card, all right? This is going to be the last card I'm going to show you guys. Um, Reese James right now. You're not going to be able to get much better than like 114, 15K. But once again, 5 to 10K undercuts. Look for some bids, all right? Whatever you guys can find. Um, he should do really good. The only thing to keep in mind for him, all right, is Cancelo, I believe, is a headliner in Team 2. So, same position, same league. You guys remember what I said earlier. That is the only thing to look out for for James. Uh, if you guys want to wait and wait till Cancelo drops to look at this James card, you can if you want. But by then, he will be out of pack. So, you know, he might be a little bit higher. Um, so, do whatever you guys want. Um, I don't see him dropping much either way. If you guys want to take a chance, wait till Cancelo. But if you guys get like an 8K cut right now, all consoles, 
I personally think you're good either way. Go for it, guys, if you guys are interested. But anyways, guys, that is it for today's video, all right? I appreciate the insane support recently. Uh, this channel is growing, and hopefully it keeps on growing, all right? Smash the like button, drop a sub if you guys are new to the stream for daily investment videos, all right? See you guys in the next one.